What is acceptance? Acceptance could mean that you are accepting your current situation. Perhaps you want things to change, you want to shift, you want to, you know, come to a different place in your life, but you accept where you're at and you're willing to grow where you're at. Acceptance can mean something else though. What is acceptance in its entirety? The surrender of life, that surrendering to life, that surrendering to your current situation is only part of what acceptance is. Hello, my name is Ellison. Welcome to my channel. In here, I help women discover who they are, tap into their intuition, and shamelessly live out of their passions and their purposes. So if that is something that you are interested in learning more about, then I would highly suggest that you hit that subscribe button down below just to stay in the loop with the rest of my future uploads. Oftentimes when we think of acceptance, what automatically comes to mind is, well, this is the way things are, so I'll just have to accept it and move on with my life. Acceptance has two sides though, and it has two meanings. Two meanings that I think they really do coincide with one another, um, and I'm gonna talk about both of them today, but I definitely want you to stay tuned for the second definition that I'm gonna talk about today because it has really completely changed my life. The moment I tapped into this particular definition of acceptance, everything completely changed for me. So the first side of acceptance that I wanna talk about is the surrender, which is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Surrender and we'll call it submission, both of these words get a very bad rap. People automatically you know, peg these terms as a sign of weakness, um, perhaps an inability to care for oneself, um, or even an inability to think for oneself. You know, that submissive, that surrender, the, you know, oh, whatever you say, I'll just do. For the longest time, when I thought of the words surrender or submission, that is exactly what I thought. And I had this picture in my mind of, you know, that classic 1950s housewife um, who was simply obedient and incredibly pliable to whatever her husband said. There was no mutual respect within the relationship, and it was simply just a one-sided, obedient relationship. What I've discovered, though, is that everybody needs to surrender. Everybody needs to submit, but not to people. And when we're discussing marriage, personally, I believe that in marriage, husbands and wife need to submit and surrender to one another. You're a partnership now, and so you're a unit, and so you need to sort of, like, all right, I submit to you, and you submit to me, and we're a partnership now, and we try to make decisions together, and that sort of thing. That's that's how I see that sort of unit. But there is another aspect to surrendering. And this goes completely ignored, but it is truly necessary to have a fulfilled life. In my experience, this was my surrender to God. You know, you might say it's a surrender to the universe. You might say it's a surrender to life. You know, whatever you think, I say it is a surrender to God. In my faith, and I believe that this is true for everybody, even if you do not hold to my faith, but in my faith, surrendering means that you are surrendering to God. Um, and that basically you are releasing your attempt, I'm releasing my attempt to control my life to God, and I'm allowing him to guide me down the best possible path. And this is considered like the key to manifestation as well. You know, the surrender, the letting go, the releasing. Um, it's all the, it's, all under this idea that you're putting your desires out there. Okay, listen, this is what I want, right? And then you release your rigid view of how your life needs to look and how your plans need to play out. You release that and that automatically allows the best possible solution, the best possible path to come into your life. That is the like a basic idea of manifestation, but it is also a basic, I mean, that's just basics of life, basically. Basics of life, basically. Yikes, Ellison, get new words. I will give you a personal example of in my own life, you know. I've said before that I've been on this journey for like three years, and it's only been recently that I've really started to, uh, it started to click with me. So for the longest time, I was manifesting and I was praying that, you know, I want to have a YouTube channel that's got over 100K subscribers and I want it within a certain time frame, you know, like 
six months to a year, like it's, it's gotta happen now. But I didn't just leave it at that though. It wasn't just, I wanna be a YouTuber. It was, I want it to be a makeup channel and I want it to be about this particular makeup concept and this particular makeup topic and I wanna be doing this on my daily basis and every day looks exactly like this and if it doesn't look like that, then it's not right. Okay, like I had it planned down to like the minute of my days. Now there's nothing wrong with knowing what you want or having an idea of what you want, obviously. Like that's, that is also a basic of life. You know, what do you want? Name it, name what you want. The surrendering portion of acceptance though, means that you are putting your desires out there. Okay, this is what I want, right? This is what I want. Um, but then you let them go, you surrender, you accept the given path or the guided path or the, the best possible solution and you allow yourself to be guided naturally down the best path, okay? Guided to where you need to go. I was trying to force that I was gonna be a beauty YouTuber. As I was putting my desires out there, the, every time I would say, I wanna be a YouTuber, I wanna be a YouTuber, it was like there was something in me saying like, but maybe makeup's not it, Makeup, maybe makeup isn't the way you need to be approaching this, maybe makeup isn't the key, right? I had this feeling that I needed to tap into a different niche, this niche in particular, you know, a niche of more self-development, more, you know, feminine development and stuff like that, but I refused to let go of my desires because I had this picture in my head of how it had to be. This is what I wanted my YouTube channel to look like. I can't stray from that. That's how it's gotta be. So I'm not going to follow this natural path that will lead me to the successful YouTube channel. And I'm going to just stay here in this stagnant place trying to force a YouTube channel and a YouTube topic that is not succeeding. And so when I was staying there, I mean, when I was refusing to release that desire, when I was refusing to surrender my desires and release them and let them go and say, okay, I'm gonna just follow wherever the path, wherever life takes me, wherever God takes me. As I refused to do that, can you guess what happened? Nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened because I refused to surrender. I refused to accept the path that I needed to take. Now, the second side of acceptance, um, personally, I think that this is like the sweetest side of acceptance, but I think it is one that most everybody struggles with, and I think that women struggle with um, the most. This is the acceptance of the gift, okay? This is the receiving part of feminine energy. You know, this is the core of feminine energy, is receiving. But in order to receive, you have to accept right? You have to accept what is being given to you. As humans in society today, we worship work, okay? We worship our striving. We want to earn and we want to prove that we are worthy and deserving of all the wealth, the success, and the abundance that we have in our life. We want to have the proof, right? Well, I put in this much time in college and I had this many all-nighters and I you know, missed out on this many events and I, you know, invested this much money and this effort and all of this time, right? We want to have that badge of honor that, you know, we worked our butts off. We refuse to accept the gift of life because we would rather earn it. We would rather have that badge of honor that we did it instead of something simply falling in our lap. We refuse the incredible things that actually might fall into our lap because we would rather earn and force, force, f force the earning of something else in our life, right? We want to have that badge of honor. Again, we want to have that proof that we are worthy of something because by golly, we earned it. I came up with this mental picture not too long ago, and so I'm going to share it with you. It's sort of a, uh, a 3D situation. Doesn't have to be taken literally, Leo, okay? So here it is. Let's say I've decided I need a new car. Okay, I need a new car. So I talk to God about it. And I say, you know what, God? I need a new car. Um, and instead of just saying, I need a new car, just show me, you know, sh show me sort of what I need to do or show me, just guide me. Instead, I, I have it in my head. I'm going to get, I'm going to go to this particular used car dealership and I'm going to get this red car that's rusted out and it's got really nasty seats and it smells 
like old BO and that's the car that I'm that's that's but I can afford that I can earn that I can pay for that I know it right I can earn that I can earn that so I'm walking down this path to get my get this new car that I had in my head a new car right because in my head it's going to be a used car it's going to be just just a car but it's on my mind that's what I can earn and that's what I want God takes me down a different path though. God walks me over to the luxury car dealership. Okay, he points out this beautiful car, this brand new car, it's never been driven, zero miles on this car. And it's got everything I want, it's got everything I need, and it's got more than what I want or need. It has more things than I could ever imagine even having. It's more beautiful, it's more useful, it's more sustainable, it's the it's better than I could ever imagine a car being. And he says, I want to give that to you, right? You don't need to earn it. You don't need to you don't need to pay for it. You don't need to do anything. I'm gonna give it to you. I've got in my head though, oh no, I need I I need to earn a car. I have to earn a car. So I'm gonna go to the used car dealership and I'm gonna get the rusted out car because I need to earn it. Right? So I've got in my head that I need to achieve and earn this new car. And so I tell him, nah, thanks for the offer. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful car. It's a beautiful, you know, thank you so much. Like, that's awesome. But I'm going to go down here to the used car dealership and I'm going to open up a car loan and I'm going to buy that and I'm going to earn it. Now, this, I mean, this sounds really ridiculous, right? This sounds very ridiculous. Who in their right mind, if somebody offered them to if somebody offered to to give them a luxury car, a new luxury car for free, no, no no strings attached, who would turn that down? Who would rather go and get a used, rusted out car over a new, luxury, beautiful car? But this is how we treat our life, right? Acceptance is the art of receiving a gift, accepting a gift, right? We fail at this in the biggest ways and in the smallest ways. And like I said, we do this, we fail especially as women. We refuse and blow off compliments. Um, we refuse to let people open doors for us, right? Either physical doors or, you know, just opportunities in our life. We refuse help. Um, we refuse to do things that make us really happy because we feel like we need to earn and climb and claw ourselves, claw our way up the corporate ladder, right? We refuse to do things like, oh, starting a YouTube channel and, and starting a YouTube channel that is very inspired and very, you know, rich with purpose. And instead we aim our, you know, our bow and arrow at something that we don't really want, but we feel like I can earn that. I mean, I've gone through different stages of this um, throughout my life. You know, for the longest time, I thought, well, I need to be the boss babe that, you know, climbs her way to the, to, to the top of the corporate ladder, right? Like I've said in other videos, I went to school for accounting and finance, and I thought that I was just going to dominate, and I was going to have this, like, incredible career. I didn't want it, but I thought that that's what I needed to do, and I wanted to prove that I deserved success and wealth through my intelligence and my work ethic. Then I thought, well, maybe, you know, maybe that's not what I want, so maybe I want to be self-employed instead. And that really, that really jived with me. And YouTube really jived with me. But all I could think of was, I'm going to be a beauty YouTuber, and in order to be a successful beauty YouTuber, I have to claw my way to the top. And it was just recently that I realized God was trying to point me in a different direction. God has been trying to point me in another direction for so long. And I was refusing his gift, right? God was saying, you don't need to work so hard. You don't need to force anything. I want to give you a gift. I want to give you whatever success will make you feel fulfilled. That is, that is all God wants is for us to be fulfilled. But we can't fulfill our own desires and we can't find fulfillment on our own, right? God was trying and God has been trying to direct me towards a different path. A path where, yes, I do need to work, right? We're humans and we work. But everything works out naturally. One where the path just sort of makes itself. The path reveals itself. 
I'm not forcing anything, right? A path where my striving is unnecessary and a path where I don't have to earn my way to the top, but where I simply grow and succeed. So like I said, we worship our work. Um, we worship the idea that we've earned our place in the world. We've earned our success. We've proven ourselves worthy. We've proven ourselves deserving. You don't have to prove yourself though. You know, we don't have to prove ourselves to people at all. Also, I mean, the idea that you could possibly prove yourself to a person is ridiculous because all people will ever be is disappointed and critical, right? I have done things that some people thought was the best idea ever and other people criticized. And then I did other things that some people thought was the best idea ever and other people criticized, right? Nobody is ever going to be satisfied with your life. So why are you trying to prove yourself and make yourself appear worthy and deserving? Why are you trying to work yourself and force this proof that you are deserving? You don't have to prove anything. You are deserving. You are worthy of this life. And this life is a gift for you. The, 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 the life is already yours. You don't have to earn it. You don't have to earn it. It is, it, it, it is trying to be given to you. You know, it has been trying to be given to me. And just recently, I realized I don't have to work so heckin' hard, okay? I don't have to try so hard and I don't have to force anything. I can allow it to come to me. I can follow the paths and I can accept the gift of life and simply follow my intuition and feel my way towards that's what I need to do and find the success that I'm desiring and dreaming of instead of forcing and trying to force success in a place that is not right for me. So accept the gift. Surrender and accept where you are. Surrender and accept the path that is being laid out for you. And accept the flow of life. Accept the flow of life. Accept the gift of what is coming towards you. Stop trying to take somebody else's gift, okay? Why, why have I been trying to be you know, some beauty guru and beauty YouTuber. That is somebody else's gift, all right? Obviously, obviously, I mean, I've been on YouTube for three years and it has not worked out. Obviously, that is not my gift. I need to be following where the gift actually is. Accept the gift that is being given to you and the gift that has been specifically crafted for you to live out of. So I have a couple of action steps or questions or sort of how do you do this points, I suppose. <laughs> Some takeaways, there we go, takeaways. So look at your life and identify the areas in your life that you are trying to force. Are you trying to force a relationship to work out? A career? A place to live, like a specific house or apartment? Um, an amount of money and precisely how you're going to earn that money? What are you forcing in your life, right? I've been trying to force the... YouTube career and the specific channel niche that has not worked out. So what are you trying to force? Number two is be brave and relax and release your attempt to control that area of your life, to control every area of your life. When I released control and said, okay, you know what? I obviously am not, I obviously have no control, <laughs> right? I can make choices and I can make decisions but at the end of the day, there's a lot of different things. There's a lot of variables going into my life besides my decisions and my choices. And so make your decisions, make your choices, but release your control over every single aspect of your life. Relax and simply live and feel your way through your life. That goes into my third topic, which is once you have relaxed, tune into what feels right. What feels like the thing you just have got to do, a must do. What feels so right that even when everybody is telling you it's wrong or when somebody is criticizing or when somebody says, well, maybe you ought to think about this, what feels so right that it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter what they say, it still feels right. Do that, right? Do that action. What feels right? What feels right to you? And that, of course, leads me to my fourth, which is take action and release. Okay, you don't need to obsess. 
You don't need to fret and worry over it. What needs to happen will happen, okay? That you can live in that comfort that what needs to happen will happen. You're doing the work, but you're not clawing. You know, I am doing the work, right? I'm writing these these videos out, I'm filming them, I'm editing them, and I'm posting them, but I'm not like obsessing and like having this death grip on these this content and trying to control every aspect of it. I'm simply allowing the inspiration to come out of me and putting my ideas out there and allowing whatever happens to happen. You know, you don't need to strive and that skin between your eyebrows does not need to be furrowed every time you're doing something. You do the work and you let the results come to you. That is like the basic, the basic idea of feminine energy. You do the action, you take the action, and you allow the result to come to you. I'll be talking a lot more about this idea and about this topic because it is something that I am actively going through and learning about and practicing. And keep in mind, keep in mind, we've been programmed by people to not operate this way, right? We've been programmed to worship our work. So when you start doing this, you'll feel out of practice. Like I said, I've been... I mean, we're on this journey for three years and it's been challenging to try and release control. So you'll feel out of practice and you might feel like you're, I'm not good at it. I'm not good at letting go and relaxing. Trust me, I'm type A, I'm not good at relaxing. What I've found though and discovered is that we're supposed to operate this way. We haven't been programmed by people to operate this way, but we've been programmed naturally to operate this way, all right? As people, we are naturally programmed, as women, we are naturally programmed to receive, to be magnetic, to allow the results to come to us. So while it might not be easy at first, you'll start to notice that it starts to come more and more naturally very quickly, okay? As you continue doing it and as you continue practicing and you know, okay, I'm gonna just try to, I'm gonna let this little thing go and I'm gonna let this little thing go and I'm gonna relax a little bit. As you do that, you will get better and better and it will come more and more naturally to you. So that is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below to stay in the loop once again for all of my future uploads concerning this topic about feminine energy and intuition and acceptance and personal development and, you know, the whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. Thank you again for joining me today. I love you guys oh so very much. And until we meet again, so long.